today let's go over a very simple pad that sounds really nice sounds really good yeah it's, uh, it's gonna be like this or you can play it in chords Yeah, like that. Uh, I made this in Serum. It's very simple. It's just a sine wave. Um, you know what? Let's just make a new one. Serum. Here we go. So, um, what we're gonna do is go ahead, get a sine wave right away that go ahead and go at this this pitch envelope here and uh just look at the decay a bit you go want to take down the sustain all the way basically and then you just kind of find that sweet spot so it's got like that volume pluck and then you want to add some attack to get rid of any clicking And then what you do is you come in, throw on some hyper, get some reverb and an EQ like this. And then you want to EQ out any stuff that's um, lying around that like 250-ish area like this. So it doesn't play that low stuff. That's just to make the reverb like cleaner. You basically just want to put on a stupid amount of reverb. This is where the whole sound comes from, so this just takes personal tweaking. And the hyper just, um... Tweak some knobs on, and then you get this. They're like the exact same. And uh, that's it. It's very quick. Let's make this in massive. So in massive, just a sine wave, one oscillator on, make sure it's all the way at sine. And um, go to your four envelope and just uh, mess with the attack again. So we got the sound now, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on a um, bit of a chorus here. To make it a little stereo, and then I'm going to add reverb. Put the dry, like the dry wet up really high. The size, usually leave it around where it is, and I put up uh, the density and the color all the way up. There you go. This is really cool for making like ambient things. And uh, actually, you know what? Let's try making this in Harmor too, because why not? So we're going to make a sine wave. To make a sine wave, um, it gets a little bit tricky. Basically, you want to click on this um, timber one here. Come in here, zoom down, and um, wait. I'm in the wrong place. Ah, this is how I do it. You go to the local EQ, and then I drop a lot of this stuff here. This is where you can kind of change like the sharpness of it. Usually there is a good spot. You can um, 
add some curve to it, I guess. It doesn't really do anything too much, so. And then, so yeah, your local EQ, draw this shape, and uh, you come over your volume, envelope, clear the envelope, and then make your own here. I think at Harmer's actually got an anti-click in it option. So I'm just gonna draw that and then I'm gonna come over to the effects, reverb on. Oh, actually though, um, make sure you put on chorus. I'm gonna put on classic, I'm just gonna take down the mix. Put on many voices you want, I guess I'll just do that. And then I'm gonna do reverb. That's how you do it through those three plugins, and that's how you make a sine wave. So if you wanted to make like a sub, in um, in Harmer, if you want to make like a sub bass, you would just go like default, straight to your local EQ, drop that harmonic. Oops. There, right there. And if you wanted to uh, have a pitch bend on that, you go to like the pitch and click on uh, modulation X or whatever mapping and just bring this down to uh, 12,000 semitones or is it cents? Yeah, 12,000 cents and positive 12,000 cents. Now you can do this. And then you can. You can uh, come into devices down here, type in modulation, find modulation X, and that's the one you want. Just a side note. All right, cool. Yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.